The BPMN flow symbols can be found under the BPMN general symbol area. Sequence flows are solid arrows with filled arrowhead markers, and message flows are dashed flow lines with an open circle at the originating end and an open arrow at the destination end. Now these two flows have different uses. Sequence flows are used to connect tasks and symbols that occur within a single pool boundary, and message flows are used to connect tasks across pool boundaries. You can connect these symbols to existing symbols by just dragging the ends onto a particular symbol, and you'll notice that a snap point becomes available. The flow then snaps onto that particular symbol. I can add an additional task, and I can connect these two by simply dragging the endpoints of the symbol between the two symbols. Message flows work much the same. We can select the originating and destination ends of the flow and attach them to the respective symbols. To give you a brief demonstration of when each of these should be used, I'm going to click and drag to select all of my current symbols on the screen and then use my delete key to remove them. I'm going to drop a pool onto the diagram and I'm going to add a couple of lanes and I'll add an additional external pool to represent an external entity. In this type of scenario, which is common, any of the tasks or symbols that need to be connected within this pool should be connected using these sequence flows. You can zoom in on your diagram by using the zoom in and zoom out icons above here, or you can use your scroll wheel on your alt or option commands or option keys. Sorry. I'm going to increase my screen size here and just drag on a couple of tasks. You'll notice that here the default size for my pool and lanes is quite small compared to my task symbol size. So I'm just going to click on the corner, hold my shift key, and I'm going to resize keeping the, the scale ratio of my symbol. I'm then going to use my command C or control C to copy the symbol. And rather than drag a new symbol and resize it, I can just paste or command V, control V to keep that new resize symbol size in my diagram. This is not a proper and complete BPMN diagram, but it will serve the purpose of allowing us to explore how to use the different flow symbols in our diagrams. The tasks here within this pool must be connected using a sequence flow. This would be the proper use of a sequence flow to connect tasks within a pool. Using a sequence flow to connect a task from one pool crossing boundaries into another is not accepted in BPMN. This would not be a standardized use of the sequence flow um, symbol in these types of diagrams. When you want to indicate that communication occurs across pool boundaries, it is in these scenarios that you would use oops, a message flow. A more detailed example utilizing all of the symbols that we've seen to this point will be given in a later part of the demo.